All right, so, uh, hey, everyone. It's been a while. I haven't really done this in a while, actually. Now thinking about it, I think it has been a little bit over a month since I recorded for a video. Believe it or not, which is the anime minutes, of course, which I recorded around the 10th and 11th of May. So, god damn, I may be a little bit rusty at this shit. But with that said, here we are with the untitled video, which is the continuation to this untitled video, where, I mean, yeah, it's pretty much just a Q&A thing where you guys ask me questions and I answer them. I mean, hence the name Q&A, question and answer. So, like, I don't know why I'm really explaining all this. I'm just really wasting your time right now. And I'm not gonna lie, the reason why I'm doing this is because I really didn't have much planned in terms of content. So, I mean, I think this is a really nice way to kind of get myself back in the groove of things. And this video will pretty much just be like an update video, as well as a nice little QA where I kind of explain myself. Because I did take a bit of a vacation after working on this monstrosity of a video, which I'm not gonna lie, after working on that, it really reminded me why I don't fuck with anime minutes. It felt like a near death experience putting that together. I mean, probably because I'm I'm like a insane workaholic and I um, somehow completed that whole thing in two and a half weeks. Probably not the healthiest of work ethics, but I just wanted to get that out of the way so I could move on with my life. So in terms of how I'm going to handle this video, I'm really not sure what I'm going to put for the background footage, but at the end of the day, I don't think you guys care, right? I hope you're here for the commentary. So with that said, let me just put everyone's favorite game on here. Like no one is getting tired of this game at all. Matter of fact, we miss Jump Force. I can't believe people are sleeping on this game in 2022. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck all that. I'm probably just going to put some random <laughs> across many games. Because I myself, as we all know, am a variety gamer. Though for the past five or six years, I, I haven't really been too hot with that. But uh, <laughs> let's not talk about that. It's currently a work in progress, okay? Oh yeah, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this video is a Q&A for reaching the 600,000 subscriber milestone. Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure I said this before and I'm losing my mind because of how unorganized my thoughts are right now. And uh, yeah, I suppose it's time we get into the meat of this video. Because I've just been talking and I don't even think you guys care what I have to say anymore at this point. So yeah, here we are. Gonna be going over some questions you guys sent over to me on Twitter, which by the way, you can follow me over at Sumo Gaming. I usually tweet out when I do these sort of interactive videos. If you ever want to participate in future videos like this, just follow and turn on notifications. That's all you gotta do. I tweet like every hour of the day, like no joke. I'm the most active Twitter account on the platform. And yeah, I would really appreciate if you get me to a million followers. So yeah, let's get into this beautiful Q and A. Starting off with our first question. How does it feel to hit 600,000 subscribers? Congrats, by the way. Thank you. And how does it feel? It feels nice. Been watching for a long time. Why do you take such long breaks in between uploads. Are you in school, work another job, or just be taking a long time? <laughs> Damn, just, just game flames right off the bat. That's crazy. All right, so this is something we kind of meme on a lot. My upload schedule. And I feel insulted that you said long breaks in between uploads. Like I wasn't uploading once a week from January, or I think it was around January. It was January or February all the way through May. Once a week. And you're saying I have this inconsistent upload schedule, huh? Matter of fact, everyone check if you have notifications on for this channel, okay? I'm sick of everyone slandering me saying I don't upload consistently. <laughs> if this keeps up, I swear I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, um, there's something called time that videos take. And time is the concept of like seconds, minutes, and hours, days, weeks, but you know, th that sort of thing going by. And videos kind of take a lot of that, you know? Or at least the videos I work on. I don't know what it is about me, but like I just put a lot of effort in my videos. And I guess that's bad now. I guess that's bad. I might as well just say fuck it. Have some commentary and that's it. You get no footage whatsoever. You get no background music. Hey, cut the background music. You get none of that. You get my voice only. And this is how I'm gonna upload from now on. So that way I can daily upload. It's gonna be easy peasy now because I don't have to worry about the visuals and I don't have to worry about, you know, playing some background music. It's just my voice. And this is peak content. But yeah, to answer this question, it just takes time. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not the type of guy to upload raw gameplay because I feel like from the viewer's point of view, you kind of just want to cut to the good parts. I mean, that makes sense, right? So I don't know. I don't know. I guess you guys like roasting me at any given chance when it comes to my upload schedule. So I guess I'm okay with that. How big is your cock? Two. Overflowing minutes. How would I even go about that? Isn't it only like 40 minutes long or something? And out of that 40 minutes, I only have like three minutes of usable content that I could use for YouTube. But not gonna lie, you may be onto something. Jojo Robinet in minutes when? God damn, you guys are some degenerates. And that can't be me, man. Like, I'm honestly such a vanilla person and I do not ever consume this kind of media. And like, you guys all need to go to church right now. Like, this is just ridiculous. One piece in minutes when? Bro, are all these questions? All right, so the thing with one piece in minutes, which I don't know how many times I spoke out about this, but the reason why one piece in minutes is a tough one to uh, do is not because of the length. It's because of the company behind it. If you guys don't know, Toei is kind of a scary uh, company to uh, mess with. <laughs> Just 
just saying. And that's all I gotta say for that. If you know, you know. I don't want to badmouth them because they're gonna eat my ass out. What's your top three and bottom three anime? I believe I have answered this millions of times in the past. I guess 50th times the charm. And uh, I really have been thinking about this for a while. Like, I climbed the top of Mount Everest just to think about this very question. And I finally came to the conclusion of my top three. So, for Shonen, Full Metal Alchemist, for Slice of Life, Nanamburi, and for Romance, Kaguya-sama, Love is War. And I know this is probably going top four. And for Harem Trash, the quintessential quintuplets. Yeah, I think I solved it. I saw Blue's Clues. As for bottom three, oh god. Sometimes you just kind of want to forget those memories, but I guess you want me to dig up my past and figure out what scarred me for life. All right, so this is an underrated one, Apocalypse Zero. By far one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. This, I think, is the lowest rated anime on my anime list, but I don't even know if you can even qualify this as an anime. It's, uh, I, what the fuck is this? So I guess scratching that, because it's not an actual show. Oh, there's some really bad ones I, oh, I forgot about. Honestly, forget what I said about Apocalypse Zero, because Apocalypse Zero actually felt like an anime, and I'll give it one point for that, okay? All right, I'll give you my bottom four, just like how I gave you my top four. So we got Apocalypse Zero, Hulaying Babies, Forest Fairy 5, and Dimension High School. And an honorable mention to Virtual Summon Mitaru. So I guess watch them at your own risk. You may lose a few brain cells. Honestly, they make Pupa look like a masterpiece. But yeah, time to move on. I stayed on this question too long. I hate that I do this. <laughs> Can we get more anime minutes? After I uploaded in anime minutes. Directly after I uploaded in anime minutes. One Piece maybe he even asked. Ooh, you guys... You <laughs> All right, I almost fell for the bait. I almost fell for the bait. I almost did. Woo. Will you be playing JoJo All-Star Battle R? Probably. Why is K on Peak Fiction? Because it is. What anime are you looking forward to this year? Oh, shit. Um, what's even coming out? That's the real question. There has been nothing in a long time that has excited me to the point where I, I was just so goddamn erect, bro. All right, let, let's see. Let's see what's up. Oh, there's actually a few things coming out this year that kind of is cool. All right, whatever. I'll just give you a quick rundown list of what I'm looking forward to or what I'm probably going to watch because I just realized how animified this Q&A is. I'm staying on these questions for too long. So here we go. The Devil is a Part-Timer Season 2. Run a Girlfriend Season 2. Uh, I know I know what the manga readers have to say, but hey, relax in the comment section please overlord season four because we love our isekais i suppose oh yeah classroom of elite is coming back with season two and season three apparently made in abyss pretty poggers my stepsister is my ex-girlfriend honestly i'm just a fan of trashy rom-coms like goddamn mob cycle season three that's pretty cool probably my hero academia season six and uh bleach's return apparently we also got don machi season four and last but not least call of the night because i see this girl everywhere i don't know why so yeah that's that hopefully that answers your question and yeah that's a whole lot of fucking anime to consume goddamn but anyway, uh... do you follow OSU scores and players? And do you plan on playing the game with the goal to improve? Well, we got a rare question here. That's not an anime minutes question. Wow. Well, it has been a while since I uploaded OSU. I think I have some video ideas in mind to probably release some content on that game because like that is a game I do kind of enjoy playing. It's actually one of the few games I enjoy playing for some reason. And do I intend to like play to improve? I mean, kind of staying at the same skill level would be kind of boring. So yeah, I hope to improve. I'm currently just kind of like chilling, playing for fun, like you should with all games. And do I follow OSU scores and players? I mean, yeah, I do. And you'll see me at the top one day, like one of these days in the top 10. Mark my words, you'll see me in the top 10 of the global leaderboards because all I need to do is just believe, right? Yeah, that shit's never happening. <laughs> what are your ultimate goals for YouTube and or life? Also, what are some smaller ones you're progressing through? You know, a goal of mine is kind of to uh, diversify my content. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, but it's kind of hard to uh, pave the way for that because I kind of have to think outside the box in a way, but it's definitely doable. In terms of life goals, I mean, YouTube is my life, so... <laughs> <laughs> what are games you're looking forward to playing in the coming months and through 2023? I don't know what it is. Am I just getting old? I don't understand why nothing interests me anymore. I don't get excited over video games anymore. Now, I'm not sure if I'm getting old, but I don't think there has been a game I have been excited for in a, w <laughs> a long while. I think the last time I was kind of excited for a game was Halo... What was it called again? How did I forget? Oh, Halo Infinite. Um, yeah, the last time I was excited for a game was Halo Infinite, probably. Or, like, slightly excited. I wasn't too fond of how the game looked, and I played it, and I wasn't too fond of it at all. So, it, it seems everyone was enjoying it on release, and now everyone is seeing what I'm seeing, is that it just lacked a lot of things. Like, it just lacked content. I think Halo Reach had the formula down, where you had, like, this credit system, and then you can grind those credits, you can do challenges, you can play casual multiplayer, you can play, uh, there was, like, an MOG playlist thing, if you want to get sweaty, there was fire fight. The campaign was amazing. And then we got Halo Infinite where it's like, uh, you, you got ranked. 
Nice. So yeah, in terms of games coming out in the near future, I don't think I have a game that I'm looking forward to at all, unfortunately. What do you think about Hunter x Hunter coming back? Or Hunter x Hunter, I'm sorry. Sorry to offend you guys. And I'm pretty much quite indifferent with it coming back because I don't really read the manga. I mean, if they return with the anime, like with like a season two or some shit, then yeah, I'm, I'll be excited. But you got me fucked up if you think I'm reading blocks of text to get caught up. Favorite wholesome anime. So for this, I, I think I'll go with uh, Kanajo x Kanajo x Kanajo or Kanajo Kanajo Kanajo, however the fuck... Why do they add X's in the title if you're not supposed to say it? And I believe that's like the only wholesome anime in this world that has anime level production. Because if you lingered around this genre for some time, I think you could tell that like a lot of the production for all these wholesome anime, they tend to be on the lower end of things. I mean, because, you know, budget and whatnot. And most of the time, it seems like a lot of these wholesome shows are produced by a team of like six people. But Kanojo, 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 that shit looked like a whole studio worked on that. It looked like A1 Pictures worked on that shit. That's some high quality shit. Oshiri or Opai? We go with the Opai. Opai gang rise up. Why is Railgun underrated? I, I don't know. Why is it? It's pretty cool though. The Taru series? I fuck with it heavy. Do you wipe sitting down or standing up? If you stand up while wiping, you are intentionally standing up to squeeze the poop in between your cheeks, making it a messier wipe. Who the fuck is standing up while wiping? So where are the streams at? You know, it's over at twitch.tv slash summo gaming. Um, that's where the streams will be at. As for my first stream, you know, it's a, it's a work in progress. Yo, how long have I been saying that shit? Has it been like four years now? Honestly, I, I've been having the same problem and same excuse for the past years. And that is like having consistent uploads. And I don't think streaming will help that at all. And even now without streaming, I'm struggling to upload. So I can't imagine if I start streaming, how bad my upload schedule will be with that added onto my plate. So I'm currently working on the editor thing so that way i could get a bit of the workload off me so that way i have time you know but yeah once the next stream um soon for sure surely i'll have everything situated soon right are you watching any seasonal anime if yes which i'm currently watching spy x family shield hero kaguya sama love is war komi san second season summertime render and data live season four and oh yeah i'm also watching a couple of kakus or cucks or yeah and the demon girl next girl season two so i kind of got a handful there i mean if you're ever curious about anything anime related i think everything is on my anime list page if you ever want to check that out the link is in the description i mean i only watched a few anime so like you know there's not much on my list but it is there if you ever want to check it out so who is best girl rento saka or hestia rento saka i mean she has been in my youtube banner for the longest time so it would only make sense who is best girl in sakano kato megami and if you say otherwise you are incorrect are you black yes 50 percent black 50 percent asian I, I do not know why i got a lot of questions asking this like an absurdly large amount of people ask this question is it really that important to know about Damn. What do you do in your free time when you're not making videos or other responsibilities? Pretty much the same two things I do for content, but just offline. So yeah, we got watching anime, playing video games. I'm a fucking loser. The YouTuber life isn't all that crazy if you didn't know. In all honesty, I really don't create a lot of free time for myself. I usually just spend my days working. So what gacha vortex are you in right now? I'm assuming by gacha vortex, you mean like gacha games or whatever, right? Well, there's something I actually do like in my wallet, which is uh, money, right? And getting to gacha kind of destroys that. And uh, luckily for myself, I have self-control and I have not fallen into the rabbit hole of gacha games so yeah i feel pretty good i don't have to you know spend hundreds or thousands just for a nice jpeg of my waifu and i shall never fall into that temptation ever and if i do that will probably be the end of me komi or shikamaru if you had to choose um well uh i guess get ready for the comment section to catch on fire because i got a bit of a hot take and uh i'm not gonna lie i, I don't really care for these two you know they're kind of on the same even playing field and like c tier waifu <clears throat> yeah maybe i should cut this part out i'm sweating but if i were to choose i guess komi i think jump force 2 is gonna happen i hope not when will mo get bitches never thoughts on data lives return which i believe last year was when i said uh, i was excited for data live season 4 and i'm not gonna lie with this new studio i never had a limpier dick than now i fucked with the original studio but i guess many don't see it as a problem but i guess i'm too fucking picky who is your favorite waifu also akino is best girl i mean i agree akino is best girl and you see with favorite waifus that's the type of thing that switches up every day you know there's a new waifu of the day so give me one sec Okay. If you had to watch one anime for the rest of your life, what would it be? Probably not on Buri. Watch Toradora? Question mark. 
Yeah. So would you eat any anime food from your favorite show, Food Wars included? I mean, anime food looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's so good that a video of a character ripping bread in half got 700,000 views. So yeah, I think I fuck with anime food heavy. And with that said, uh, I suppose this concludes this beautiful Q and A slash update video. It was actually more so just a Q and A on accident because there was actually a lot more that I want to say throughout the Q and A, but I forgot. <laughs> but pretty much for the future of this channel, you see, it was the first or second question I was asked where the dude asked, why do I take such long breaks between uploads? I actually wanted to elaborate a lot more on that, but I forgot until now, but pretty much my plan for the future of this channel. I think this might be some unfortunate news, but uh, what I plan on doing is working on bigger videos. But with that said, it's going to take longer to put together. So I'm thinking of like uploading once every maybe like one and a half week to maybe two weeks but instead of uploading a medium-sized video like i usually do which is around like 15 to 18 minutes i think i'm going for like the 20 plus minute mark i, I don't know this is just all brainstorming I, i'm not sure if this is actually gonna be finalized but i might upload less frequently but upload longer videos over time so like it kind of like compensates in a way I, I don't know if that makes sense i mean of course this is just me just thinking and not to say i don't want to upload more because i wish i could upload more but there's really nothing out there that really piques my interest to make content on i mean as of this current moment because all the video ideas i have in mind right now are very elaborate and they take a lot of time to not only set up but to put together and like edit and all that right and for the longest time i have been using storm for as like my filler content to fill in the weeks where i'm working on a larger project but i just don't have an upload i'm like oh we can go with storm for right because it was simple to record simple to edit and simple to upload but i think it's time we uh move on from that because it's been six fucking years man holy shit yeah so if you have any games that you want me to play i guess comment them down below though you guys are always trolling and saying roblox or some shit but yeah but for the time being i'm just gonna focus on working on my like bigger video projects i think i definitely have some good ideas they just take a lot of time to put together because there's a lot of preparation that goes into a lot of the video ideas i have in mind it's not that i ran out of video ideas it's that these video ideas just take a lot of time to put together so please stop flaming me it hurts my feelings every time and uh yeah just wanted to keep you you guys updated so if i don't upload for a while it's not because i'm on a vacation it's probably because i'm working on a video apologies for me being a bad youtuber and prioritizing the quality of the content but yeah uh, i suppose this is where we can wrap things up thank you all for 600 000 subscribers and not just that but for the continuous support on this channel and honestly i do feel bad for not uploading that much but i hope you guys do understand and with that said i will see you guys next time peace <laughs>